This cruise is really special. This cruise is formed of four working groups studying the sea surface microlayer. Understanding how trace elements get into the ocean and how they're cycled in the upper ocean is really important for uh, biological productivity. So far, the sampling has gone uh, fantastic. The problem is that collecting samples for trace elements is always very tricky because of contamination concerns. So we have a special quartz tube that we use to collect microlayer samples, and we want to filter them because we want to separate the dissolved trace elements from those that are still on particles. Climate change is forecast by computer models, but the model can be only as good as the data we feed it with. And especially the exchange of gases between the atmosphere and ocean, we have very little data. We develop our own technology. We have a remote controlled catamaran. For some analysis, we do sampling technique manual. Another piece of equipment, uh, we call it a uh, sniffle. Basically, this buoy measures how much carbon dioxide goes into the ocean. The ocean can also emit carbon dioxide, and this buoy is measuring how fast this exchange happens. When the waves break, they generate fluid motion that mixes fluid up to the surface, so you'll see the mixing event in the imaging that we do. And then those processes affect how much heat goes between the ocean and the atmosphere, how much gas, so CO2, goes between the ocean and the atmosphere, and other, other important gases like methane and dimethyl sulfide. Rain is a really interesting process. One of the things we can see in the infrared camera, you can actually see the raindrops. It's going to look black, which means it's cold in the image. And as soon as it hits the water, it mixes up warm water from below, which is going to look brighter or white. The ship itself is a superstructure and it's affecting the water around it, it affects the atmosphere around it. So the UAVs allow us to, to get away from the ship and do the same measurements we're doing from the ship, but just farther away that's unobstructed by the ship itself. We already know that the microbial community in this small half a millimeter layer um, is distinct from the underlying waters um, and microbes such as bacteria, fungi um, and the phytoplankton, so single-celled algae there, um, play a really important role in what passes through that layer to link that to the wider biogeochemical cycles on a, on a global scale. This is a fantastic opportunity because we can get to collaborate all of our data together with some of the top chemical and physical oceanographers and bring it all together to get a really big picture of what's happening in the sea surface microlayer. Um, and I think that's some really powerful science that's going to be produced from this cruise.